When I look at democracy, democracy, democracy. see to me it's just another chain. You know, freedom is a lie. You know, democracy. Democracy. I mean, you know, think about it. Every democracy had a landowning class. Every democracy had some form of slavery. Every democracy had some form of sexism. Sexism. And I'm saying this not because I'm trying to overthrow anybody's anything, because you know, it's just, you know, it's just, you know, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about, it's about, oh yeah, it's about the next generation. We live in an evolutionary reality. Maybe it needs to evolve. And maybe in the, in the, in the best interest of our seventh generation, it may be the enemy. But I don't mean just it by itself. I'm talking about all of the industrial bases of control systems. Whether it's democracy or fascism or socialism or any one of these industrial bases and mechanisms to control the mass of people. Because every one of these systems have a small class and an ethnic rich. An industrial ruling class and a planetary ethnic rich. And every one of these governments, no matter what they call them, they serve that master. So don't misunderstand me. This isn't about, you know, this is about a perceptional reality here. I come from a tribe. And whatever's been going on in my evolutionary journey, I still remember that. I'm confused about a lot of things, but I remember that. I remembered it when I was born. I've never been a question about the memory. But they're trying to take that memory away. But the memory of the tribe, see, a hundred years ago, it, 120 years ago, Geronimo said the Americans, and they're messed up, you know? Said it, he called them the Americans. See, so I feel a kinship to those ancestors and what they saw and what, and what they tried to stand up against. I feel more of a kinship to them than I do to be a lapdog to this system and promote its lie. All right, because I think it's irresponsible. And I think that when people are afraid to think about what needs to be thought about, that's the danger of the lie. Casualty of war, afraid to think. You know, so I will say democracy because you're not supposed to say anything bad about democracy, but I'll say it. And I'm not saying what I'm saying. I don't look at it as I'm saying something bad. I'm just saying this is what it is. You heard, you've heard the other side. So I want to say this side. Right? Freedom of speech. <laughs> That's about the freedom of speech. <laughs> See, I think the part of the lie there, all right, it should be about responsibility of thought. <laughs> freedom of speech, responsibility of thought. Responsibility of thought will then take care of the free speech. The freedom of speech, or freedom. It isn't about freedom of speech. Let me make this more. The idea of freedom. See, words, words, every word has its own meaning because it makes its own sound in a vibratory world, all right? So every word has its own meaning. You know, so like democracy, that noise, that sound, noise, whatever it is, my ancestors, 30 generations ago, never heard that sound. That noise was never made here on this land base. It's alien to this. And for us, it's about words. So I think the word freedom shouldn't be used so frivolously. You know, and I think that somewhere in the course of this, it is about responsibility. This is a word that needs to float around in our consciousness. We need to plant that seed and let it nurture in our consciousness that life's about responsibility. Because we will synchronize closer to what it is we seek in our life. Because it's very difficult to deal with an abstraction of freedom by a people who don't know who they are and what they're saying, you know? Okay. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I'm not talking about you unless I am, right? 